Sport Mart was a retail chain of sporting goods stores that opened in 1971 and was rebranded in 2003. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Throwback Thursday. Every Thursday, I'll be releasing a new video of an old video that I did before. These new videos are longer and have more detail than the ones before. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest video. Be sure to leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video. Thanks for watching. I take care of my body, play a lot of sports, play to win. I go to Sport Mart. They got the best at the best prices. For the way you play. The everyday Sport Mart price is guaranteed the lowest in town. I get the difference in cash. It's the ESP guarantee. For the way you play. Save on men's over-the-calf cotton tube socks from Ridgeview. All white or assorted stripes. Six pair value pack, just $9.96 at Sport Mart. Sport Mart. For the way you play. The first Sport Mart opened in 1971 in Niles, Illinois by Larry J. Hotchberg. In 1957, Hotchberg co-founded Children's Bargain Town USA, a small chain of toy stores that operated in Chicago, Milwaukee, and Detroit through the 1960s. The Hotchberg family were pioneers of the superstore concept offering large stores stocked with a broad array of brand name merchandise. At the same time, a similar chain of stores started up on the East Coast called Toys R Us. In the early 1960s, Children's Bargain Town and Toys R Us formed a cooperative purchasing agreement allowing the two chains to buy in larger quantities and to offer their merchandise at deep discounts. Toys R Us was bought up by retail giant Interstate Stores, Inc. in 1967. Two years later, Interstate purchased Children's Bargain Town, USA, merging the toy store operations. Hodgeberg remained with Interstate for about a year after the merger. However, he left Interstate in 1970 to found a new company. Together with Sanford Cantor, who had worked with him through the 1960s at Children's Bargain Town, Hotchberg decided to try the Superstore concept in the sporting goods market. The first Sport Mart opened in 1971 in Niles, Illinois. It was the first category killer to enter the sporting goods market, which was then a relatively minor category of a retail marketplace. Hotchberg remained close to his toy store strategy, offering a broad range of first-run name-brand merchandise at prices kept low by volume purchasing and quick inventory turnover. Hotchberg's timing was perfect. The sporting goods market, spurred by the increasing presence of televised sporting events and a turn in the national mood toward a new awareness of health and fitness, exploded in the 1970s. Joggers became fixtures on more and more streets, sparking demand for more sophisticated footwear and apparel. Likewise, aerobics merged with the suddenly popular disco sound emerged by the late 1970s while skiing moved from an elite pursuit to an affordable sport. The 1970s also saw the appearance of lightweight, multi-speed bicycles, as well as sturdier and swifter roller skate designs. Despite a loss in its first year of operations, Sportmart was posting profits by 1972 and would continue to blossom throughout the decade. Sportsmart's growth was steady but slow. A second Sportmart opened in Lombard, Illinois in 1973. By 1983, there were seven Sportmarts operating in the Chicago suburban area. 
In that year, Sportmart expanded to the West Coast, opening its first Los Angeles area store. Throughout the 1980s, Sportmart continued to expand in these two areas, reaching 13 Chicago area stores and 11 Los Angeles area outlets by the end of 1989. In that year, the company generated annual revenues of $187 million in a market that had grown to approximately $12 billion per year while dominating two of the most important U.S. markets. Sportmart's original four-person corporate staff had grown to over 100, and the company's payroll totaled more than 2,000 employees. For much of its history, Sportmart had been the sole superstore in the sporting goods industry, but soon companies like Sports Authority, Costco, and Sam's Club began to gain market share. In fact, Sports Authority, which began in 1987, began its expansion into Sportmart territory as well as expanding across the United States. In response, Sportmart had no choice but to expand more aggressively than before. By the time Sports Authority announced plans to enter the Chicago market in 1992, that chain had grown to nearly 50 stores compared to Sportmart's 25 stores. By the end of 1984, Sportmart had grown to a 53-store chain. Yet Sportmart's expansion seemed to come too late to regain the momentum lost to Sports Authority in the first half of the 1990s. By 1995, Sports Authority had stores in 22 states. It had all but locked up the crucial northeastern market and with deeper pockets than Sportmart had successfully established itself in the Chicago and Los Angeles areas. Sportmart policy of saturating its market had led to some of its California stores cannibalizing each other, while some of its older stores were criticized for their tired appearance. By 1997, it had 59 stores in 7 states, Illinois, Minnesota, Iowa, Ohio, California, Oregon, and Washington and posted sales of $514 million, but a loss of $27.1 million. Most sports marts averaged 40,000 square feet apiece and were located in large metropolitan areas. In a deal completed in January of 1998, Sportmart agreed to merge into Gart Sports Gart Brothers subsidiary with Gart Sports Company. Gart Sports, which also operated Oshman's and Sportmart, completed a merger of equals with the Sports Authority on August 4, 2003. The Sports Authority was the largest full-line sporting goods retailer in the United States and had 205 stores in 33 states. The combined company took the Sports Authority name So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.